Look at that. Beautiful. Super creamy. Super lush. Classic. So we're going to make mac and cheese today. We've got four cheeses going on in it. Super creamy, super cheesy. I've got mascarpone, I've got parmesan, I've got cheddar, I've got mozzarella, a classic. This is delicious. Welcome back to How to Cook Great. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get our pasta cooked. I'm using this quite small macaroni. It's cooked. And what's important is to get it into a container that can go in the oven. You can use glass like me, metal, or ceramic, it's up to you. So yeah, just make sure you've got enough pasta that fills this. This is quite deep actually. This is kind of about that deep, but you can use as much or as little as you'd like, depending on the tray that you have. So there's about 400 grams of dried pasta cooked, and obviously it swells up and will weigh a little bit more once it's cooked. Right, that's it. So you've got that sorted out. Let's move on. Okay, so we're gonna make a lovely creamy cheese sauce what I've got here is one cup of mozzarella, one cup of cheddar. That's quite a strong, mature cheddar. One cup here of mascarpone. Now, if you don't want to use mascarpone, try and use like some cream cheese, like a Philadelphia or something. It's really lovely. And here I've got two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Three tablespoons there of a plain white wheat flour, teaspoon of nutmeg, and about two tablespoons of butter. We've got some milk here, I've got about a litre. We might not use that, we might do. Let's eyeball it as we do it. Okay, so low heat, let's drop our butter in. What we need to do is melt that down slowly, first of all. Now, I'm doing it in this kind of what kind of thing so you guys can see what's happening, but you can do this in a small pan, you know, a small little saucepan. Let me melt that down, then I'll be back. Okay, so that's like a minute, 90 seconds or so. Nice low heat, don't have it up too high. That's just melting. Very simply, we're gonna get in the flour. And we're gonna work this in, again, on a low heat, stirring a lot for about five minutes. What we wanna do is cook the flour. If you don't cook it, you're gonna end up with a really, really floury tasting sauce, which we don't want. What you do want is a kind of shortbread or a kind of biscuit, digestive biscuit type thing, taste, which you'll get. You can actually taste that in, in a few minutes. Get your finger in there, have a little taste, don't burn yourself, and you'll taste that it's kind of turned into a shortbready kind of tasting thing. So keep it moving, we'll be back in about five. Okay, here I am, that was actually about four minutes. I just tasted it, and it's great. Okay, we're gonna get milk. So I'm using a full fat milk here. We're gonna pour in a little bit, keep it on this low heat, and it's gonna thicken quite rapidly. And then as that happens, we're gonna add more milk. And like I say, we'll just eyeball it at the moment, and then I'll tell you exactly what we've used. Be back in a moment, so low heat on, keep it moving. You can see that going now, as the heat goes through the milk. There becoming also almost solid again. Okay, more milk. We're gonna do the same again. So, low heat, keep it moving all the time. It will smooth out, don't worry about the lumps, it will all smooth out. Just keep stirring and stirring until it thickens again. And then we're gonna repeat the process until we get a consistency that we like, i.e. If you put milk in and it doesn't thicken too much and you want that consistency, that's where we're gonna stop. You see, once again, as the heat gets to the milk, the mixture of the flour, it will thicken again. And again, this is too thick for me at the moment. More milk. And repeat. Okay, so we're nearly there. A little touch more milk. Now that means I've used about 700 ml of milk. We're gonna go with a little bit of black pepper. A small amount of salt. Now, you want a small amount of salt. First of all, you might have used salted butter. So you're gonna have some salt in there already. And remember, 
cheese is going to go in. So we've got plenty of salt happening there. Look at that, it's fantastic. Now time for that teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, and this is where all the magic happens. We're going to go in with that parmesan. In it goes. We're going to go in with the cheddar. Now hold a little bit of cheddar back for the top. We're going to go in with the mozzarella and do the same there. Hold a little bit back for the top. Then we're going to go with the mascarpone. Or, like I say, you could use cream cheese. Okay, nice low heat. Let this go now for about three minutes and stir it, stir it, stir it. It's gonna be beautiful. And that's done, off goes that heat. You've got a really super creamy, beautiful four cheese white sauce there. We're ready to mix that with our pasta. So I've taken the pasta out of the glass container just put it in a mixing bowl. Now if you want, you could just pour the sauce over the pasta in the container you're gonna use, but I think you don't get a good mix. You know, it just kind of pours over. What I wanna do is get our sauce on there and give it a really lovely mix. That looks bloody amazing if you ask me. Right, just a little bit of cheese on the top. Remember we held a little bit back from the sauce. Now get your oven on. You need a preheated oven. You need it really hot, super hot. Everything here is cooked. We're not cooking anything. We're just bringing it together, aren't we? Right, that's gonna go in a really hot maximum heat. Get it as high as you can. Get that in the middle shelf. A little bit of nutmeg on the top, just as a little signature. Which I love anyway, nutmeg. Middle shelf, that's gonna go in, in my oven for about 20 minutes. I'll see you when that comes out. That is gorgeous. And there you go, that was 20 minutes in my oven. Full blast, nice and hot. That is delicious. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love.